Just 15 k's from Sydney is Dragon Territory. Jump in and you'll find these strange and beautiful creatures living amongst the seaweed. Weedy sea dragons are native to Australia and can be found in the waters mostly off the south and east coasts. They're related to seahorses and often just drift about in the water, blending in with the kelp around them. The problem is these colourful creatures are becoming harder and harder to spot and not just because of their clever camouflage. This is the best site in Sydney, so you can still see them here reliably. Other sites, particularly on the north side of Sydney, where they used to be a common occurrence, now you're lucky to find one and, and sometimes you find none. Luckily, marine biologists have a plan to work out just how many weedies are left. Instead of catching and tagging every sea dragon they find, they're asking citizen scientists divers off the coasts of New South Wales, Victoria and Tasmania to take photos of the creatures and send them in. The researchers are then using a kind of facial recognition software to identify each fish's unique patterns. The software program allows us to um, map out uh, the markings on the side of a weedy sea dragon and it becomes a unique fingerprint for the weedies. Every time they identify a new weedy, they give it a very appropriate name to help keep track of it. And it will tell us if it's David or Greg or Alicia, because every single new sea dragon we have gets a name, so we can follow it over the years. Weedy sea dragons are classified as near threatened, but scientists reckon this research could provide enough info to have them relisted as endangered. They reckon climate change could be a big part of the problem for the sea dragons. They say rising sea temperatures are killing the kelp, which leaves them homeless. Once they're gone, they're gone. Once we lose them, we will never get them back. They were here many, many thousands, hundreds of thousands of years ago. With our impact, losing them would be really sad. They're asking divers to keep sending in their photos so they can make sure there are more little Davids, Gregs or Alicias swimming around Australia in the future.